All right, you guys, back with another Leonardo.ai video. In this video, I'm going to try out some different combination of images in the Canvas editor. If you're new to this channel, then visit my playlist section where I've covered everything from the basics to advanced techniques in Leonardo.ai. If you do not have access to Leonardo.ai, visit the website, the link is in the description. Click on the launch app, fill in your details, and click on count me in, and you will receive an email within few hours or a day and then you can click the link and sign in. So the workflow is very simple. Go to the community feed and search for images and like those images from right here. Then visit your personal feed, go to the liked Im images option and then you can click on the image and then go right here and edit in canvas. Now one thing you need to do is open the canvas editor in a separate tab and the community feed in a separate tab so that in one tab you can edit in canvas editor like this and in, in the other tab you can browse through different settings and different community images to import some more images into the canvas editor so let's decrease the size of the image and one more image that I want with this image actually I want to merge two images so this is the first image and this is the second image that I want to take into the canvas editor so let's go back to the canvas editor decrease the size of this image i have already downloaded the second image so go to upload images from a computer and click this and finally we have both the images that we want to edit in the canvas editor now let's decrease the size of this image and match it to the perspective of this image so i want to place this image right here now if we try to generate something just without erasing the edges the result will be very straight and it will have these boundaries. I'll show you an example. As you can see, I used the prompt similar right here and these are the results that were generated. All the results have a line in between those results. Now let's try changing the prompt and without erasing, let's try generating a result. So I changed the result and I've written all the keywords that I see in both the images, like similar magical room with a table, old furniture, books, a window, a cabinet. So this time, let's see what kind of a result do we get. As you can see, we still have this line in between all the results. So now one very easy way to remove these lines is to go to the erase tool and erase all these edges so that there is no reference for a line. For Leonardo AI to pick it in a wrong way so let's erase all these edges and we will use the same prompt that we currently have now I will click on generate and see what kind of a result that do we get and as you can see this time the result looks amazing it is perfectly blended in and this is only the first result let's check out all the other results and now you have plenty of options to choose from all the results look really nice and now I want to actually select this one because I really like it. So I'm going to click on accept. So this trick can be used all the time whenever you're generating any edges. Make sure to erase all these edges because Leonardo AI works very well when it has a very uneven reference of the image. And now let's place this box right here switch on the snap tool so that it snaps at place and the image is complete now we are going to click on accept and the final result really looks amazing if you want to extend it further more we can go back to the tab which we opened separately and you can do one more thing you can click on the same image and then you can click on remix in order to remix different styles of the same image as you can see i've done it right here i've remixed the same image into different styles and then i go back to the same page where i have all these images saved your generations feed and then i want this image to be in continuation with my canvas editing go back to the canvas editor and import that image into the project and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend this whole scene 
further into something more detailed so let's place it and match the perspective increase the size a bit or actually decrease the size and match the perspective like this and then we'll do the same thing erase the edges so I'm going to erase all these edges in a very uneven way and these edges too and these edges too so I'm not going to keep it as a plain image all the edges will be erased and now placing the bounding box so some of you must be having a complaint that you're not getting similar results like me so you need to take care of your prompts as you can see I've written some keywords which I'm seeing in both the images that are common so make sure you write all the right keywords in order to get the correct result and as you can see these are all the results that I got this result looks good as this pillar is not the line between the images it is just a pillar in the room that separates this room from this room so I'll click on accept because it looks good and then I'm going to complete the image and now I like this option so I'm going to click on accept and do the same thing in whole and do the same thing in the leftover part I want to expand the image some more so I'm going to do it in the rest of the part right here and before that I'm going to erase the whole image from top because I find it it works very good every time when I erase the whole image I wanted to expand the image so I changed the prompt a bit because the earlier prompt was giving me some trouble as it was generating a separate room on top and it was looking like a second floor so I wrote similar window wooden walls and even after that I was getting a separate floor so what I did was I dragged this whole bounding box a bit down so that it has more reference of the image and then these are all the options that I have right now like I was getting this kind of a result previously in all the images but it came down to one image now now I have all these options so I'm going to choose this one as it is the most accurate one so let's click on accept and complete the whole image I'm actually really happy with all these results really like it and finally I'm at the last part of the image so I'm going to click on generate so now that we have completed the whole image let's give some touch-ups and correct some of the errors that are there in the image so suppose you don't like a part of the image I'm not liking this part of the image let's go to the mask tool and draw a mask on top of this part right here I don't want this extra line so let's drag the bounding box on top right here and click on generate and as you can see it removed the line and corrected the whole image and this is the final result so I'm going to save the final result by clicking on this small arrow right here so this was it for the video if you like the video then subscribe to the channel and I'll be back with some more AI related content in my next video